since Jimmy Garoppolo is probably going to be one of those top quarterback markets now since Aaron Rodgers decided to stay in Green Bay and and Russell Wilson going to Denver was a win-win for the NFC West. But what would it yeah. take for Jimmy Garoppolo to be gone? Like, I know you got the party, maybe package an extra player. Would you kind of like package Drake Greenlaw into that deal or not? Nah? I, I don't think they're going to be able to trade him. Uh, I think what they have to do is like they have to like um, like do hypnosis on a franchise and get him to do something hella dumb. I'm sorry. I don't see a trade market for Jimmy Garoppolo. And I think it's exactly what Jimmy and Don Yee wanted. Like the Niners would have to pull a, a rabbit out of their hat on this one. I think what Don Yee and Jimmy Garoppolo thought is if we do this at this time, there's no way the Niners can trade for us. There's no way there'll be a trade market. And we could pick our own. That's what I think is going to happen. And if the Niners can find a way to get like some type of late, late round pick for Jimmy, then I'll just applaud and say, well done Parag and, and John. Cause I, I don't see it happening. Yeah, and, and the problem with our free agent strategy is we don't go as big. We go Dollar General stuff. Like, we don't go, like, spend big like crazy. Like, you see the Rams, they go for that that all big spending, and we just go spend in the, in the 99-cent store. So it's like, I don't that's know why Parag, we can't that, even. That's what Parag does. Like, Parag is the, is the 49ers version of Moneyball. And in a lot of ways, he helps the Niners and protects them. But in a lot of ways, I think he is, like, the hurdle that prevents them from going over the top and winning a championship. Because it's hard to win a championship when you're, like, when you're using your secondary as a cap management mechanism rather, rather than a weapon. And that's the way I've looked at the Niners the last 20 years. They don't maximize certain parts of their team because it's like, well, we need to save money in the secondary. That's our, that's our spot. It's like, really? No, you need to win a Super Bowl. Do what you got to do. <laughs> so this year, we'll see who they get in the secondary. They're, they said they're going to be in the mid-tier market. Great. Traverius Moore, Ward, great. We'll see. Yeah, he's like a dollar general because he's not going to be a top dollar guy because that's the one that we've been linked to because he's not a big name out there. But as far as guys like uh, Carlton Davis, he's getting some big buzz out there compared to Traverius Ward. But Traverius Ward, uh, he's not too Carlton bad, Davis but really I want good. something better. Like, yeah, because Carlton Davis is really good and Traverius Ward is just another Kansas City Chief cast off. Like how many of those defensive players are the Niners going to invest in? When the Chiefs say you're not good anymore, it's probably time to let them to – Probably time to believe him. That's what I'm saying. The Niners yeah. are more about D4. That was crazy. <laughs>